Welcome back friends this is Ram here and it's 44th tutorial on Java fix it. In this tutorial we are going to see how to search or filter table by id, first name and last name. So let's start. First of all I will rename the title. Now we are going to create one more text field for the search box. So text field say search field save. Now we are going to declare this search field into the layout so to do that I'm going to copy this and replace this ID with the search field search with now we have created the search field in the layout now we are going to add this search field into the layout so that is in the fields and I'm going to add that search field before the label so search field the label save this now we are going to write a filter or search function for the search field so now to filter the search data we are going to create one filter list and we are going to add the filter data into that filter list so filtered list of user see filtered data equals to new of filtered list and we are going to add the data into the filter list on true so whenever we filter the data with respective id first name or last name we are going to add that data into the filtered list fix the import for a filter list now this this data is the observable list which we have created for the to add the users into the table so this is the observable list of user and the variable that is name used is data we are going to add the this these data into the filtered list So next is we are going to write one set on key release method for search field. So search field dot set on key released method in that 
with the lambda expression so we are going to add one more listener for search field so search field dot text property dot add a listener so listener with the observable value comma old value comma new value and the lambda expression now we are going to search or filter the data with respect to id first name or last name so filtered data dot set predicate and we are going to so it will predict the data is whenever we enter into the search field it will predict the data and with respect to that we are going to search either id first name or last name so predicate comma super of class user and here we are going to create a lambda expression so this is the error because of return time so we are going to return false so, and now first thing is whenever we enter into the search field so if it if it's empty or a null so we are going to return a true so that will add all the observable list data into the filtered list so new value null whenever it is null or empty we are going to return true now next we are going to search with respect to id so one more if statement if user dot get id dot if contains any character sequence we are going to return true and that will filter with respect to id so return true now next we are going to filter with respect to first name so to do that i am going to create one more filter to convert that new value into the lower case so lower case filter equals to we are going to convert the new value into the lower case so new value to lower case so whenever it pass a new value we are going to convert that new value into the lower case and with respect to that we are going to filtered the data so else else if 
user dot get first name dot so we are going to convert this first name with the lower case so to and we are going to compare with the filter that is with the new value so contains so we are going to pass now filtered value of new value so if it if both of them this is matches we are going to return true similarly for the last name so instead of first or will be the last name we are going to get the last name convert into the lower case filter and then we are going to compare the new value with the last name if both are matching we are going to return a true and that will add into the filtered list so next is we are going to add this filtered data into the sorted list so that we can add that sorted list into the table so we are going to create one sorted list of type user so sorted list of user so say sorted data equals to new sorted list and we are going to add the filtered data into this sorted list so filtered data fix the import for a sorted list now next we are going to bind this sorted list with the table so sorted data dot text sorted data dot comparator property so we are going to compare with the table elements and those are match with the sorted data we are going to add into the table so and bind with table dot comparator property now next we are going to set the table data as a sorted data so table dot set items and we are going to add this sorted data into the table so sorted data now save this so initially we have created a, a filter test field for the filter that is a search field now then we have added search field into the layout so this is the search field which we have added into the layout then we have created a filter list for the search searching data and the observable list elements we are added into the filter list 
so if we are not searching anything it will add all the elements into the filtered list that will show in the table and we have written in a, and a predictive function for the filtered list so if search field is empty that is the new value is empty we are going to return a true that will add all the observable list data into the filter list and print into the table next we have created the uh, filtered for the id so whenever we entered in enter any id into the search field we are going to con compare or uh, we are going to search with respect to or filter with respect to that id and return a true if it matches with the table contents similarly for first name and last name we have converted the new value that is written in a search field into the lower case and we compared that with the table content if the contents matches with the search field we are going to return a true and filtered list added into the filtered list and that filtered list we are add, adding into a sorted list so that we can print only the filter data into the table so we have bind the sorted list with the table with the comparator proper property and finally we have set the table with the sorted data so i'm going to run this and check whether this is working or not So this is the search field which we have added. Now we are going to search from the table with respective ID, first name and last name. So initially I will load the table and now I am going to search with respective ID if, if I search with uh, say one zero. So we can see that this is is this working now like I'm searching for the ID 9 say 9 if 7 so similarly we can search with respect to first name and last name for example say Peter so whenever we type pressed or released any key it will search with respect to that uh, and whenever it is empty it's going to add all the data into the table so similarly for last name say John so we hence we can we can see that we can search in the test wheel with respect to ID first name and last name so this is about the search or filter table by id first name and last name if you have any question or problem about this tutorial ask me in a comment section or you can mail me on my email id that is alapureram at the rate gmail .com. and finally if you really like my work please like share and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching this video see you in the next tutorial